got the shark map 3.0 with massive hidden packs and hidden rewards in a 97 Christavius and now we get another conquest packs with more hidden packs this one's actually not bad at all obviously not a shark map type of map but not a bad map at all it does go toward the six inning program that just dropped so make sure you do this map do all the goals so you can get 35,000 XP towards the sixth inning program but this pack is loaded actually you get two total kitchen sink packs one and two if you do all of the the goals and obviously getting them out of the strongholds and hidden packs here but let's go over the the goals real quick you do have to steal fans here but that gets you a two headliner bundle you see a lot of these in these conquest maps now you get a capture 60 territories you get a shining metal reward there Capture one enemy stronghold gets you a diamond cleats. So if you need diamond cleats there. Capture three enemy strongholds gets you another two headliners packs. So that's four packs right there already. Capture six enemy strongholds, which is all of them, gets you a five standard pack bundle. And then conquer all territories, including the strongholds. And finishing up the sixth inning spiral map gets you the kitchen sink one pack. I'm not sure how much the, these rewards are in the kitchen sink packs anymore since you did get them in the shark map as well. Now and also now in the sixth inning map. But you get six total strongholds right here as you guys can see. It is the spiral map. You're going to have to play at least to get to the Boston. To get to Boston. I'm going to tell you this right now. You get the kitchen sink pack two at boston i believe it's kitchen sink pack two yep so kitchen sink pack two is gonna be under boston but you're gonna have to play kansas city royals and the dodgers to get to them because they're they're roadblocks we call them roadblocks you have to play them to get through to the next section so this is kansas city right here which has nothing and then there's la which has a prospect pack so five more golds in the prospect pack by beating LA so actually really good to do all of the strongholds anyways so you can get that XP towards a six inning program but those are the main strongholds that you're gonna have to do to get all those extra packs now all the hitting packs that you can get besides those that I just showed you because I don't have any of the kitchen stick packs yet Shout out to my mod KC for helping me finish this map and that's how I know that Boston has a kitchen sink too. But today I have to open up an eight, eight standard packs. We have a ball in the habit and then we had I think a total of three. No, two. Yeah, two headliner bundles along with a Prospects AL Central and a Prospects NL Central. So they're really trying to help us get Mookie bets and also get a head start for the next time they drop another collection card after movie bets because i think we're gonna get one more we're gonna get one more big one um probably closer to the end of the year so but let's get the prospect al pack out of the way we're gonna be able to pick up five of these so i'm just gonna go with the two that i don't have and then the rest of them actually i forgot all of them we're gonna be able to get all of them there and then the nl central also all of them I have all of them already, so we're just going to keep them and see if their prices do rise up, but I don't think they will there. But easy 5,000 stubs if I sell any of these guys. So here we go. So the set headliners I got was a set three with Tim Salmon, which is, which he's going for 31K still. And Matthews, only 10K. Jeez. Ron Guidry, 15,000. And also the Austin Martin, who's going for 62 thousand stubs so hopefully we pull him there once you get all your packs to open up today let me know what you pull if you pull any diamonds name them down in the comment section below so how much did we make from the shark map though ladies and gentlemen i think personally i pulled the rare round out of the all-star game pack so i think personally i made 300,000 stubs from the shark map alone so let me know how much you pulled let me know who you pulled in the all-star game pack because that was that's gonna be the best map we we get this whole year. Maybe there's a map for extreme. It maybe that's gonna be a better map than the shark one, but I don't think so. I do not think so. Here we go. Balls of Habit is one in fifteen chance, and it is a gold. It's a guaranteed gold. We're gonna sell Aaron Nola there real quick, and here we go. Headliner set three first one here. Let's see if we can get a diamond in any of these. I don't I don't really usually expect diamonds out of headliners packs because as you see here they're not very good i think headliners packs 
honestly should have a guaranteed gold in them just for how much they are we get a kendall graveman okay that's good stubs right there but this is the one where we want to get a diamond this is where we want to get a diamond right here so we'll go slow one by one here and see if we can get the austin martin and we do not alex reyes in the silver there so that's it so the only missing packs that i have that i haven't finished up yet are the two kitchen sink packs and also a couple bundles of the headliners once i finish up the goals real quick so but pretty straightforward ladies and gentlemen there's really not much uh strategy to this except maybe using the wildfire method and let me explain the wildfire method here real quick usually we use the wildfire method if we have two or more lanes like this you see that these are each a lane so sometimes it can kind of the other teams other strongholds can kind of stack these up like over 10 so you're gonna have to try to use the wildfire method which for example i uh, say washington's right here right say washington has 10 here 10 here and 10 here and i only have 12 in one spot what i'm gonna what i would do at that point is skip all the way to the reinforce phase a couple of times and reinforce each of those lanes to about maybe 20 each and then i will go up and take over their 10s one by one with, with my 20s if that makes sense so basically you know how like a wildfire kind of pushes together you kind of push your your zones together though there so taking the 20s and the 10s for example if that if that makes any sense at all you got you kind of can't see it in my example down here but basically taking each lane with your spot that is reinforced enough to take over theirs that makes sense just imagine what a wildfire looks like though so i'm gonna show you guys the map here real quick and show you where everything is there's like i said there's really no strategy to this except maybe the wildfire strategy because it is pretty straightforward so you're gonna start at the bottom right there and you're gonna head up to the washington nationals the nationals won't have anything in their stronghold so if you're just going for the free packs without doing the goals go ahead and skip the washington nationals and right above them is where you're gonna get your first standard pack and then all the way up at the top there on the same side you're gonna get another standard pack and as we head to the left part of the map here we're gonna see a set 28 headliners right away so that's where that austin martin hits so that's actually the best headliner you can get out of the map today heading down you're gonna see a standard pack right underneath the angels angels won't have anything underneath them either so if you want to skip the angels go ahead nothing for the cubs as we make our way into the spiral here nothing on the cubs so you can skip them too but then a few pieces to the right of the cubs there is where you're going to find another five standard packs because it's going to come in a bundle once you get to kansas city you will have to play them since they are a roadblock here so play them you won't get anything but you'll go you're going to have to play them to get a couple of the nl central prospect and the uh al central prospect packs right there and also another two headliner bundle so really important to get through kc to get those prospect packs the two headliner bundle and then also the ball into habit and then finally the kitchen sink two pack underneath boston so there you guys have it then you get another and then don't forget you get another let's see here four four uh headliners packs yep four headliners packs total no two we got two there no yeah four I'm, I'm right i didn't do the steal three million fans yet so four total headliners and five show packs along with a kitchen sink one if you finish up all of the re the goals for this conquest map too and then thirty five thousand xp which will automatically go towards your six inning program you don't have to go and collect it so once you finish this map you're gonna get that 35k xp too so really good map in my opinion here for it being a program map the prospect packs alone if you're selling all those golds that's 10,000 stubs right there and then the kitchen sig packs are guaranteed diamonds so two guaranteed diamonds and then if you're lucky you get them out of the standards the ball the ball in and also the headliners if you're lucky so let me know what you pulled down below ladies and gents but like I said, good map. We're going to update you on the schedule if you didn't see it in my last video. But today we got the six inning program along with the conquest. We got the roster update to so check out your investments. And then we got the tops now. Andrew Miller today in the headliners. And then on the 31st here in the next few days, we got the player program for more XP towards six inning. We got events. We got a brand new event. It doesn't say we get new rewards, but we get a new event. 
And then on the first, we get a new set of daily moments to play and hopefully not miss a day. But there you guys have it. I hope this helps. I hope you pull some diamonds. We're going to continue to do conquest hidden pack maps just like this one throughout the year until they stop dropping them and into MLB The Show 22. So there it is. Thank you all so much for watching today. Don't forget to leave a like, leave a sub, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.